Since the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, many rumors have circulated regarding the veracity of its findings. Some even doubt its capabilities and do not believe NASA's assertions. Have they got it right? Or have they misunderstood the JWST? The James Webb Space Telescope has piqued the interest of all astronomers and made them so thrilled that they overlooked the fact that the telescope's detectors had not been calibrated. But after the initial web data release on July 14th, unreviewed papers started to circulate on the archive preprint server, reporting a number of potential candidates for the most distant galaxy ever found. These studies used web wavelength measurements of the brightness of far-off objects. Then on July 29th, the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, or STSCI, published an updated set of calibrations that marked a significant difference from the ones that astronomers had been using, and this is what caused panic for most of the researchers. After that, the STSCI made it clear that the telescope's initial calibrations were rough, and much of the problem stems from the fact that Webb is a new telescope whose details are still being worked out, and it's been a long time since the community has had a brand new telescope in space, especially one with such amazing transformative powers. Working with Webb data necessitates a variety of calibration techniques, but the near-infrared camera, or NIRCAM, one of the telescope's primary instruments, is at the center of the current debate. Six months after Webb's launch, STSCI researchers calibrated the NIRCAM, but due to the demands placed on Webb, scientists were only able to aim it at one or two calibration stars and collect data using one of NIRCAM's 10 detectors. The calibrations for the remaining nine detectors were then predicted. The STSCI is putting together a thorough plan to point the JWST at various types of well-known stars and observe them with every detector and every mode for every instrument on the telescope in an effort to standardize all the measurements. Meanwhile, astronomers have been revising manuscripts that describe distant galaxies based on Webb's data. Many of the most exciting distant galaxy candidates appear to be at or near the original estimated distance. However, preliminary studies that draw conclusions about the early universe by comparing large numbers of faint galaxies may not stand the test of time. Other fields of study, such as planetary studies, are less affected because they rely less on preliminary brightness measurements. In the long run, astronomers will undoubtedly resolve the calibration issue and gain confidence in their conclusions. And whatever results they get today may not be accurate in six months when we have more data. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.